What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator Let's Play here on the PC. Let's find ourselves a job, boys and girls. We're all fueled up, ready to roll. And let's find ourselves a job. I would like to go. Like to go to Nevada. Honestly. Ooh, Winnemucca. I know it's not my highest, you know, priced one, but Winnemucca would work. We can work with Winnemucca. We can work with that. Let's do the Winnemucca. Let's do it. Let's do it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? Welcome in. If you guys have not already done so, please hit that subscribe a button. I would appreciate it. Wait, hang on here. We had our lights all buggered up now. Lights on or no? We want lights on. Lights on. There we go. We just want low beams. You see, we don't we don't need the high beams during the day. We just want lows. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind to hit that subscribe button and of course ring the bell, I would appreciate that, boys and girls. If you have not already done so, of course, make sure to check that bell. Sometimes notifications like to work. Probably not very often. Let's be real. Thanks to YouTube. Heart yo. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Not going to get into that rant. But for those of you that watched the last video in this series, you will know that I said somebody knocked on my door. And I have no idea who it was. I went and looked. There's no package. Nothing. No, no, like, you know, like FedEx drops off something and they can't raise people. They'll leave like a little slip or UPX, UP, UPX, UPS. They'll do the same thing. No. Nothing. So I don't know what it was. It's probably one of those door-to-door -door people wanting to sell something. Probably that's what it was. If I had to guess, I would say it was probably one of those door-to-door -door folks trying to sell something. Our case houses for, you know, robbing. They do that too, but that's another story. <laughs> that's another story, right? Okay, so we got to go 21 more miles to get our load. And yes, we're speeding. I know, I know. I don't know if I'm supposed to obey or not. I, I forget. <laughs> I probably should, but hey. That's okay, right? That's okay. So yes, getting off here at this here exit. Let's go truck, well, it's downshift, let's go. So that's where I wish I had the shifter, because man, I would be like up and down and up and down, you know, or not not too aggressive but you know trying to get some rpms going to get this truck a moving you know get this truck a moving but that's okay that is okay all right four more miles four more miles it's not bad not bad yes we're speeding greatly let's probably slow down just a little bit probably slower down just a smidge bit keep going <laughs> there we go down to around 30 ish I will say with the pedal it's actually not too bad to like try to maintain a speed because you can just kind of barely put your foot into it you know it's kind of nice not gonna lie kind of nice oh we're gonna go hit those question marks here real fast too that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hit those question marks um, one of them, what is it, a truck dealer and something else? Garage? Probably a garage. Uh, eventually, our goal is to purchase all the garages. We will have them all eventually. They're like Pokemon. Got to catch them all. Um, we do need to get a hired worker going. Honestly, I feel like I should. Um, he will help me recoup my money. I do have to buy him a truck, though, is the problem. So that is a bit of a problem, but... Not that big of a deal. I can buy him a stock truck like I'm in and then uh, just run him from there, you know? And he'll run and make me the money. Make me the money. What's that noise? Ah, airplane. I was like, what is that noise in my backyard? Airplane. <laughs> no big deal. I do kind of live near um, a major airport. I guess it's an international airport again. I don't think they were flying anything international for a long time. 
but I believe... Oh, it's not on the right. God, I thought it was that place on the right. Um, but I believe they are now. I believe that they are. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah. I said something about Iceland. I heard something about Iceland the other day. They're flying planes from here to Iceland. Well, we do have two Winnemuckas, but I think we'll take the higher paying one. It weighs a lot more, but that's okay. It's all good. We've hauled 30, like 35,000 before with this truck, so no big deal. No big dealio. Where's our tanker at? Around the corner. Of course. Slam it in reverse. Get her done. I love that 18 mile an hour reverse and then I light off because it's scary. <laughs> Just saying, it's real scary. Yeah, no, I still forgot to turn off the trailer coupling. Don't worry. Look at those hoses all stretched out. I have to say it on every load, by the way. Sorry. It's just kind of a whole thing. It's a it's a hose thing. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Not really. <laughs> Actually, tonight I will be home all night. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I might, I might be building. Uh, okay. So story time. This is gonna date this video just a little bit, but. As of recording this, my mother is going to be... Oh my god, I should have looked. Um, <laughs> I'm saying I only have 3%. I'm not worried about... My uh, mother... Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my map. <laughs> uh, I want to go straight. I want to go th circle through the garage real quick and then uh, get on my way. But uh, as of recording this video, my mother will be coming home soon. Probably within the next week or so which is a couple weeks after before this video goes live on YouTube. But, um, yeah, she should be coming home soon. And, and I think tonight, real life, Dad and I are going to build a ramp. Uh, she is wheelchair bound at this point in time. Um, they have been working with her as far as standing goes. They definitely have been working with that. But as of right now, she's still not doing much standing. So... There's that. So wheelchair ramp has to be built. We were going to build one out front, but then the city gets involved and it's a whole thing. So that's okay. I have to say this Pete looks so much better than the Kenworth I'm driving right now. See, that's weird because I like the Pete newer truck, but I like the Kenworth older truck. I don't like this 389. I just, yeah, I don't care for it. So uh, we could get this going actually. You know what? We have the money for it. Let's do that. Okay. It won't let us do it right now. Okay. Um, we need to purchase the truck, though, and then we'll get a hired worker. Um, a hired worker going. That could be fun. We just need to do it when we don't have a load. That's all. All right. Let's get out of here. I just wanted to explore. To explore. But, yeah, we have to build a ramp for Mom's wheelchair. Um, because she has to go three days a week for kidney dialysis. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, basically it's uh, you go three times a week and you get your blood pumped out of your body. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, you get your blood pumped out of your body and it filters it. They, It's a four-hour process. I don't know how much actually of your blood they take over the four, whole four hours. I mean, they take it out and they put it back all at the same time kind of deal. But... Uh, it's a very interesting process because her kidneys are not functioning like at all or if they are it's very 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 little and uh yeah it's like probably less than five percent if they're even functioning at all they may not be functioning last time i heard they were functioning just slightly but uh they may not be functioning at all right now i'm not totally sure um, but kidney dialysis is not necessarily a death sentence uh, come to find out, people can live with kidney dialysis for a very, very long time. Um, it's just kind of a pain because it's three times a week for four hours. Uh, it's probably about a six-hour total thing. Um, she's going to have to get picked up here at home by um, like a wheelchair van, if that makes sense, you know, or like a little bus thing. Um, 
She'll be getting picked up three days a week and taken to the dialysis center, and then they'll bring her back. And uh, it's a whole thing, but one of the major things that we need is a ramp to get her in and out of the house. Um, we were going to build one out front, but if you do it outside of your house, you have to get um, you have to get your city involved because there's codes and permits and all that kind of fun stuff. So the guy from the city flat out, told, flat out told us that we should put in a wheelchair lift instead of a ramp. But then you need a certified electrician and you need electric. You need um, uh, what's it called? You need permits for running electricity. So it's just like it's a real nightmare. So we have actually opted to put a ramp inside of our garage because then there's no codes. We can do what we want. Obviously, we're going to make it safe for mom. That's number one. That's the number one priority is make it very safe. Um, we were going to go, I think, about six or seven feet and then have a landing and then go like eight feet more or something. Um, to get a very very gradual slope, but we looked at it last night, and I think we're just gonna make a seven foot um, Straight shot ramp. It's gonna be a little steep, but It's not a big deal because mom's not gonna be the one to like push herself up and down the thing You know, we're I'm going to be the one basically every time Three days a week to push her up the ramp and, and let her down the ramp to go to dialysis, so I'm not really too worried about it being a little steep. Um, besides, if we don't like it, we can always change it. It's wood. It's not hard to add on and change it and all that stuff because we can always go back to the landing idea because the problem is our garage is only so wide. It's a one-car garage. And the door, the way the door faces, you're going, like, across the garage with a ramp. Now, if you're going long ways, yeah, we can make, like, a 16-foot ramp and it'd be super, super gradual. But... We don't have that luxury um, because you're heading across the back of the garage so it's not really a big deal but uh, we are going to be building a ramp probably tonight I think I think he said tonight he was gonna go and cut all the wood and stuff for it so we'll see we'll see it's what is it four o'clock now he doesn't get off till five and then I know he'll go to the uh, to the nursing home and, and see my mom and, and stuff so yeah and stuff because the nursing home my mom's at is pretty close to his work. So he just goes right after work a lot. Pretty much every night. No, not pretty much. Every night he goes after work and uh, spends time with her. So it is important. I cannot imagine being the one in the nursing home. The only thing I will say that's like a good thing is that she has made friends with everybody there. And where she's at is what they call the rehab, so it's not like long-term care. She's actually been there, I think, the longest out of anybody that's there right now. Uh, she's been there like five weeks or six weeks now, something like that. And uh, most people stay, you know, two, three, four weeks, and then they're gone. They're, they go home. But she, uh, she's a long-term patient, if you know what I'm saying. And... Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing, so it is definitely a whole thing, but uh, it'll be interesting getting her home. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to maintain my schedule as far as, like, YouTube and Twitch. Um, I am, I wouldn't say I'm going to be the primary caregiver because there's going to be, uh, my aunt's always here. My aunt is probably going to be considered the primary uh, caregiver, even though I will be heavily, heavily involved. Uh, my dad works full-time, so he will be involved when he can. Um, and, and same thing with my brother that lives here, too. He works full-time plus some, so he'll be involved with uh, what he can when he can. So it's basically up to my aunt and I to be caregivers. She really, like, she needs care, don't get me wrong. But uh, we're also going to have, I don't know how long we're going to have it, but we're going to have home health nurse come uh, probably at least a couple times a week and then we're also going to have home uh, physical therapy so that will be good because the goal is to get her standing again she's been working on it at the nursing home and um, 
You know, when you lay in bed for about three months without any physical activity, you really lose muscle mass, and that's her problem. She has lost so much muscle mass in her legs. Her upper body's pretty strong. Honestly, she can, you know, she's lifting weights in the nursing home. Like, her upper body's pretty strong, but she has no core strength, which obviously they cut, you know, they cut so much of her, of her abdomen that it's, like, hard for her to, you know, you don't have any muscles left. I mean, I, I know they didn't cut all the way down, but still, you lose you lose muscles just laying around, you know, for three months. And uh, between her stomach not having muscles and her legs losing so much there, it's been really hard for her to stand. In fact, I don't she's I don't know I haven't seen her stand um, since before surgery. Honestly, the last time I actually saw mom stand was before surgery. Uh, it was that night when we took her into the hospital for the for the basically farthest she had to get an MRI done yeah MRI cat scan one of those I think it was a cat scan she had to get a cat scan done and I helped her get from like the gurney to the um, cat scan table and uh, that was the last time that I actually saw her stand so it has been uh, what about four months yeah about four months since I've actually seen her stand so that's kind of a big deal. A couple times that when she was in the hospital, she was doing rehab there or therapy there. And um, she did stand a little bit, but it was with like three people helping her. So, I, I mean, I guess, yes, she did stand, but not on her own power, basically, is what I'm saying. So it has been, uh, it's been a while. But, you know, it takes time to rebuild that muscle mass that you just completely lose by laying in bed and not eating and having surgeries and medication and it just it all adds up it all adds up to be like fighting you it all adds up to be against you and she's definitely learning that right now she's definitely learning that right now so hopefully home therapy goes well hopefully we actually had a home therapist a while ago after she had the flu and i know i'm racking up speeding tickets i really need to slow down uh, we had a home therapist after she had the flu, and that home therapist was fantastic. So I'm hoping we get the same one because we're going to be going through the same home health care company. And, uh, yeah, I'm very hopeful for for how it goes. I'm very hopeful. So we shall see. The goal is to get her up standing. I mean, I don't care if she goes and walks up and down the street 100 times a day because that's not realistic. But having her stand having her walk a little bit around the house would be ideal you know having her be able to get into a car and not be in a wheelchair would be ideal so that she can just feel human again because i can't imagine it has to suck it has to suck you know that's all there is to it it has to suck so i i can't i can't imagine i honestly can't imagine what it's like for her you know, they said that uh, when she was in the hospital, and she was she was in rough shape, obviously, in the hospital there for a long time, um, that it was harder for the people watching her go through it. So basically harder for us than it was for her, because she was kind of out of it, and uh, a lot of times she didn't really know what was going on. So it was harder for us to, to kind of watch what was going on and you know, try to take care of her and everything. But now that she's in like the nursing home, quote unquote, and she's a lot more with it. I would imagine it's harder for her than it is for us. Cause we see the progress, but it has to be hard for her to kind of see that. So, but you know, there is progress. She is getting better. And that's really what matters is just getting better. Um, her, her wound that has been open on her stomach for quite some time is healing. Um, very slow process though and that's one of the big reasons we're going to have a home health nurse is to uh, you know change the dressings on that and everything and as far as I'm concerned like yes I could probably train, change the dressings on that and, you know I can be taught by a nurse how to do it correctly and everything but I would feel so much better and, and, and it's better for mom's health if somebody that has trained eyes you know can see it every day or every other day or whatever it is I think that dressing gets changed every day. So we're probably going to have to have home home nursing here every single day um, to change her wound dressing. So that's going to be an interesting thing. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, honestly, 
they should just keep her in the nursing home as long as that wound is still open. Um, but we were told next week that the basically the nurses with the doctor and director of nursing and all the mucky mucks at the nursing home are supposed to have a meeting and talk about if medically she's okay to come home. In my opinion, she's not, but my opinion's a lot different than their opinion. They see this stuff every day. It's no big deal to them. It's a huge deal to me, of course. Oh, we're stopping. Coming into a town here, aren't we? Yeah. Which way are we going? We are not going the way that I wanted to go to Winnemucca. I wanted to stay on the highways. I should have looked at my GPS. My map. I did not look at it. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's a very interesting process uh, going through all this. You know, we're going to have to get a hospital bed here very soon. It's just it's very, very interesting. It's pretty much all I have to say about it. It is very interesting and kind of a nightmare, to be honest. But yeah, medically, I feel like she needs to stay, but I'm not, I'm not a doctor. So I don't know. Um, I wanted to stay on the, no, no. Where the heck am I? Why did, oh, we're not on the 80. That's why. Okay. We should have out of Bakersfield gotten on the five and just stayed on the five. So we're about to get on the five. Okay. We're going to go through John's Corner up here and get on the 80. Okay, that's the way I wanted to go. I thought we were taking them the back roads, like over here. I don't know where we're at, guys. I don't know. We're about to get on the 80, though, so that's good. Or the 5 or whatever it is. The highway. We're about to get on a interstate again. So that is good. That is good. Better stop over there, cars. I mean, I know my light's yellow and probably red by now, but hey, <laughs> you still got to stop. Just saying. Just saying, boys. Just saying. Oh, goodness. I have played so much American Truck simul simul Simulator today. This is my third row, uh, run back to back. And I might do one more, and then it's like, <laughs> that's a lot of videos, you know? Just saying, but that's good. Good, good, good. I, I know I've said this in past videos. I don't know if I've said it in America Truck Series per se, but I like to focus one series per day and just work like crazy on it. The other day I played Planes and Simple Map for eight and a half hours total. I, I kind of had a lot going on in that map and, and recorded some and did some like off screen work too, but I believe it was about eight and a half hours I played that day and I mean I wasn't sitting at the computer all that all that time because I I got up and like had dinner had lunch had dinner um, went and did something with my dad can't remember what I did but I did something with dad it was a Tuesday night I was in Steffi's stream for a while it was a whole thing like we I was doing a lot of other stuff because I was letting course play run like harvesting and stuff so you can kind of get by with doing a bunch of other stuff at the same time yeah, I feel like our miles aren't going down, even though they are. I feel like it shouldn't be like 350 miles still. I feel like we've been driving for a while. <laughs> it's a heck of a journey we're taking, boys. I didn't realize that. I need to get some shorter trips, but I also put in for... I did all my long-distance runs first, so... That way we could get longer runs to pay better. So, yeah. I guess I shouldn't complain, because I'm the one that clicked, uh... You know long distance come on truck come on truck downshift and go downshift and go oh crap oh man I looked at my tablet for like a split second <laughs> I won't even lie I totally looked at my tablet right there boys totally did we only got, didn't we already have like two percent damage <laughs> we only got two more one on the trailer not terrible not terrible the part that sucks is we lost all of our speed and momentum that's okay though I totally picked up my tablet I got an alert on it and I wanted to see what it was somebody liked something on Instagram is all it was ah, that's okay 
That's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Especially because we didn't turtle. If we would have turtled, I would probably be upset, but that's okay. Don't have to pay that F7 fee, so I'm happy there. Since we're trying to make money on this game, not spend it all. I really want to get a second truck going. So I took the $400,000 loan, so it's like we have enough money for a secondary truck. A uh, secondary truck and a hired worker, I think, would be fantastic. Plus, I'll go ahead and get the Pete, the Peterbilt uh, newer-looking truck, and uh, then we can kind of switch between the two of them as well, as we see fit. Coming up on my corner. Coming up on my corner, boys. How about the app? I love my corner. Helps if I hit the right button, right? I-80, let's go. Is it I-80 or is it just... It'd be I-80. It's an interstate, I-80. It's a whole thing. Let's do it. Someday we'll do the corners. Someday we'll do all the corners, boys. But for now, we need to get rolling. We need to get rolling. So let's do it. The worst part is we need... Uh, or the biggest thing is we need to maintain as much speed as possible right now. Because we got some big hills coming up here in a second, I believe. Although they did change it with the map rescale. They they made it longer and not as steep, I believe. But already, you guys can see, we're losing speed. Especially in this truck. We're going to probably lose a lot of speed in this truck. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have anything too heavy on. But that's why I can't do heavy hauls yet. Because I just don't have the truck for it. It, the only way I would consider doing a heavy haul is if it was between like, uh, like city to same city to same city kind of deal, you know? That would probably be the only one that I would actually consider to do. So, or if it went from like Elko to Winnemucca, real close cities, you know what I'm saying? Or um, Elko to, what is it, Eli up there, up north? Although that has some hills, so probably not. It's probably not. Definitely not this route right here because we are losing speed boys get over here on the shoulder a little bit and uh, just roll with the hazards on until we crest the hill here well they got broken that truck over there boys fire truck and everything uh oh come on maintain speed come on there we go getting our speed back all right Problem is, we're not done with hills. So let's just leave those hazards on. <laughs> we'll just leave those on. So I actually messed up. When I got off of the 5 onto the 80, I should have been going a lot faster. Um, it does help trying to get your speed up kind of, you know, sooner. The other thing is, I would totally downshift right now if I could. I'm running in ninth gear. Come on. Downshift that bad boy. Get some more RPMs going. Get get into the Power Range, you see. You know, get into those Power Rangers and uh, hit that downshift. Just saying. And it goes right back to 10th gear, which is fine because now we're actually putting speed on because we're going downhill, of course. So that was not actually that bad. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. So, yeah. 277 miles to go and we'll be at our destination in Winnemucca Winnemucca maybe next time we can get triples I don't know we'll see we'll see what we can get because I think I'm going to record one more today and then I'm going to call it for recording this particular game today which would be four episodes in one day that's not a bad day in my opinion it's not bad that's about as much as my shoulder wants to take in a day you know so, and especially with this game, I, I like to hyper focus and, you know, get four episodes done, let's say, because actually this is only my second time recording this game, and I did four episodes each, each time. So, assuming and I do one more today, which I will. So, I did four to start with, and then uh, five and six, and this is number seven right now that I'm recording. And then we'll do number eight yet, so. I like to I like to record ahead, you know. I have to record ahead. Otherwise, if something comes up, I'm going to get behind. And with mom coming home soon, I'm probably going to get behind making videos. That's all I have to say. She she's going to need a lot of help, so 
Although dialysis days are, you know, it's like a four or five hour break basically because we're, we don't have a way to transport her. So like I said, wheelchair van is going to come get her. Uh, some company we're going to have to pay for. And then uh, they take care of her at dialysis for like five hours, four or four and a half to five hours, probably about five hours total. Uh, there's a little bit of lead in time and a little bit of after time where you're still there. And then uh, she'll be brought back to the house. So, definitely going to have to uh, schedule recording times around her dialysis. Most definitely going to have to start doing that, but uh, it's okay. We'll do what we can with what we have, and uh, it will be okay. You know, I'll continue to hopefully be able to maintain the series, the, the schedule that I have, and everything like so. Should be okay. Should be okay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, stream too, because uh, actually the the week that I'm or, yeah the week I'm recording this right now, um, what is it Thursday right now? Yeah, it's Thursday, the seventeenth. That's April seventeenth, not April. Ah, uh, May seventeenth. It's May seventeenth right now, and uh, yeah, so that that dates this video. Uh, <laughs> got a little bit right. But, uh, uh, um, um, what was I going to say? Why do I start, like, trying to say something and then I just totally, like, forget what I was going to say? And then just not say it? The mysteries of life, guys. <laughs> the mysteries of life. <laughs> Adventures of John's brain. It's a scary place, boys and girls. This is a very scary place. Just saying. I know we're going way too fast right now, but I kind of don't care. I kind of don't care. Just saying. We need to sleep soon, too. Our guy's getting a little tired. It's getting dark. Uh, probably sleep after this load. Oh, sorry, copper. My apologies. I really need to slow down. Oh. Just got that wall a little too much, didn't I, boys? And it's twice this trip. Come on, John. Come on, John. I'm still only at... Uh... Ooh, that got 2% on the trailer. But what am I on the truck? Six now total? It's really not bad if you think about it. <laughs> For what we've done twice. I knew I was getting a little close to that and I started to pull away, but it just didn't work. Ah, oh, that's okay. That is okay. Come on, John. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Come on, truck. Come on, baby. I got the pedal to the floor. I would appreciate if you would go in a forward direction a little bit faster. Just a little bit. That would be very nice. That would be very nice. That is okay. So note to self. Don't ride the median wall. <laughs> it will grab you. And make you jackknife going down the highway at 70 miles an hour. Note to self. <laughs> Noted. I will not do that again. Definitely not that close anyway. I will probably ride that wall, but not quite like that. <laughs> I hope not anyway. That was not good. That's not good. So much for me earlier previous video talking about how much better I am at this game now. I don't crash or anything because I can do this. <laughs> or something. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, don't get into that wall either, John. Come on. Come on. Keep it between the lines. The lines are your friends. Don't run them over. You don't want to run over your friends. I mean, some of them. Did I say that out loud in a video that I'm going to post on YouTube? Uh-oh. <laughs> so don't turn... I'm just kidding. Don't turn me into the feds, maybe? No. I don't want to run over anybody. That's rude. That's mean. That's mean. I want to run over, like, pumpkins. You guys ever run over pumpkins with, like, a tractor? It's kind of fun. I recommend it. It, like, gets your stress out, you know? 
We need to smash those pumpkins with a, with a tractor tire. There's something fun about it. I'm not going to lie. There really is something fun about it. Just saying. It's kind of amusing. Oh my goodness. Why did I not look at the mileage on this run and realize that it was going to take forever? It's okay though. It's okay. One run, one video. That's uh, That was my theory, unless you guys tell me to do different things. That's my theory, anyway. Come on, John. Keep it on the road. I got distracted by that stupid way station thing. Which I don't have to go in. I wish it would only beep at you if you had to go in. You know? That's what I would wish for. But hey, that's okay. That's just my opinion, anyway. Okay? My opinion. I didn't mean to turn those high beams on, but hey, why not? <laughs> I'm hitting buttons. I don't know what to do on my keyboard and my steering wheel, you see. It's never good, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Should have checked my mirror before I got over. But, you know, I didn't. Oh, hey, at least we're 70 now because we're out of California. That's what it is. We're out of California. I missed the... Uh, this is the state line. There should be a sign or something, right? Should be, anyway. Should be. I don't know if there is. There probably is. I just didn't see it. Wasn't paying attention. Kind of like that wall that jumped out and got me. Jumped right out in front of me. Didn't you guys see it? <laughs> or something like that. Oh, God. A guardrail. Kind of not get in the guardrail. Oh, God. And, yes, I do have my crew set now. My foot was getting tired of standing on that gas pedal so let my foot rest a little bit as we uh, continue the journey here just saying next to Mr. Walbert over there good old Walbert as far as I'm concerned it's Walmart but you know they can't put Walmart in the game without getting a licensing deal which would be awesome by the way they should go to and I don't know how expensive it would be and that would be the problem to, to get all these companies on board these companies should treat it like advertising in a way you know it's like oh if I see a Walmart trailer in the game that's not a mod that would be kind of cool or you know for gas stations for the fuel trailers like a uh, quick trip or a shell or mobile or whatever the whatever you know whatever's big out, out west I don't even know but uh, it would be kind of cool to see some realistic, and I know I can get mods, I know, I know, I know, the Steam Workshop has mods, I'm well aware, but right now I'm going to keep this uh, stock, I, I may get into some mods later, when I have money to like mess around with stuff, but we'll see, um, for right now we're going to keep it pretty well stock, as stock can be, because why not, it's, uh, it's more fun that way, right, or something, I don't know. I've not really done, you know, like I said I, in a previous video, I, yes, I've played American Truck Sim in single player, but I only played long enough to, like, buy a truck, probably buy three trucks and get a hired worker, or three trucks, two hired workers, then I went to multiplayer, so I didn't really play to, like, do anything after that, because once you're in multiplayer, you just made, like, all the money and stuff, and it didn't matter, so it's kind of fun to actually play and pay attention over there like how much money we're making and how we need more money before we can do this or do that you know what I'm saying so it's kind of uh, kind of enjoyable to do it this way so for right now like I said though, I'm gonna keep it no mods no mods no mods no mods for now maybe someday different trucks and trailers and stuff like that it could be fun or maybe even like the coast to coast thing I know there's a coast to coast map, but uh, you never know. That's that's for the future. That is definitely for the future. For right now, keeping it vanilla, keeping it stock. Um, I am kind of a vanilla guy here lately. <laughs> you know, my farm sim. I, I used to be like so big into having mods and looking at new mods, and I just don't care anymore for some reason. Probably because all the mods of 17 are kind of crap. Because a lot of the modders have like moved on from just making their mods public 
and now you have to like join their Facebook or join their Patreon or whatever crap like that. You know, I don't know. Not going to get into that whole debate because I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with what they're doing, but that's just me. As a guy that wants more mods for farm sim, wants to make videos of mods that are good and not have to spend four hours to make a three minute video because I look through junk mod after junk mod after junk mod after junk mod. That would be nice, right? That would be very nice. But that's also very difficult to do because there's so many junk mods out there. So yes, I know we're almost out of fuel and we're about to fall asleep, but we will handle that when we get to our destination. We're 23 miles away. 22 miles away from our destination. Wittemaka proper is on our right. We are approaching our destination, 18 miles away. We'll have enough fuel to get there and to get back to Winnemucca. At least I hope. <laughs> At least I hope we do. I don't want to pay the F7. Don't want to pay it yet. Although really, we're, it's not that much money, but still. It's kind of like the red lights and stuff. I just, I don't know, need to be a better boy and quit speeding, I guess. Which also means I need to get the heck out of California because 55 miles an hour is ridiculous for the speed limit. Just saying. Or you start taking shorter loads. And then uh, it doesn't seem that bad to go 55, you know? Alright, we gotta get our mouse ready here. We will have to look. It's not a stop light. It's just a stop sign after all, so... We will have to look. Come on, bud. Chipper truck? Ladder truck? What is that? Ladder truck. I was thinking for a second there was a chipper truck, but it's not. Alright, we are good to go. Go, little Kenworth, go. Go. Disco Inferno. Something. So, uh, crazy story time. There was a guy in the St. Louis area yesterday. And I say area because I know that you guys could Google this and figure out where I'm talking about. But somewhere in St. Louis, I heard it on the local St. Louis news. So, somewhere in St. Louis. He apparently had a... The first report I heard was that he had a heart attack, but I think he actually slipped into a diabetic coma when he was sitting in his car. I guess he either had just gotten home or was just about to leave. He had started his car, or his car was running, I should say. And when he had his medical issue, we'll just say, either diabetic coma or heart attack, because there were two different reports on two different stations, um, his foot... Here, basically, let me reenact it for you real fast. Neutral. Pedal down. Pedal down. They don't know how long he was there for. What they do know is that his car burst into flames. <laughs> his car caught on fire with him inside, passed out. So luckily, um, I guess some neighbors saw it eventually and called the local fire department in that area. And they responded, of course. And... Uh, broke windows to get him out basically rescued the guy from his own burning car in his driveway and it started to catch the house on fire too so kind of a crazy story honestly it's like man so kind of a crazy crazy story in my opinion my truck does not like this right now Or we like running on fumes. Is that what's going on here? My truck keeps shifting like up and down, up and down, up and down. I think we're like on fumes. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it just didn't like that turn. It's kind of like too fast for one gear but too slow for the other gear. Kind of thing. Oh, I'm too far over. Need to get straighter on with it. As you guys know, I have not gotten any better at backing up. I still suck on this game at backing up. Don't worry. I am terrible at it. So, yeah. So there's that. I don't want to skip. Calm down. Calm down. Ah. 
Ah, maybe I do want to skip. It's not even that hard of a parking spot. Like, this is the cakewalk. Allegedly, as he said on his 84th attempt. Just saying. Come on, swing this nose around. Alright, now. Pull up. To the right. Get that back end over a little bit yet. Well, now we're gonna be blind driving. That's cute. That's okay. We got this made now. My biggest problem is I tend to oversteer. I oversteer with the steering wheel, like big time. That is my problem. All right. We're in, boys. We're in. Let's check the stats, and then we'll uh, call it another video. We had a little damage, so we got hurt on the damage a little bit, but that's okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, toodles.